Hello, welcome to the Neon Nature Tour Fuck in Hell. I am Marina and today I will be answering a few of your questions. I also have some announcements to make. Um, so the first one is that I am adding a new London date, a new Glasgow date and a new Manchester date to the tour in February because these dates sold out incredibly quickly and we didn't think, or we didn't expect them to. And so um, we decided to add a second one. So pre-sale goes, um, happens on Wednesday and general sale on Friday. I have two other things to tell you, but I will include them in your questions. <clears throat> okay, so from Happy on the Run, they say, what songs do you know will be on the set list? So, the biggest change with, uh, with regard to the actual performance um, this time around is that the show is split up into three acts. So act one will be the Family Jewels, act two is Electra Heart, and act three is Fruit. So each act will represent the, the era visually, but also, um, I'll be playing my favourite songs from each era. So I'm not revealing the set list just yet, but um, yeah, there's a good mix on there. There's quite a good balance. So there are slightly more songs from Fruit naturally, but um, but yeah, you'll see. <laughs> um, from Fruitus, what made you decide not to repackage Fruit? Well, sometimes because I like to say exactly what's on my mind at the time, I, I kind of toss ideas up in the air when I'm talking to you and at one point I was thinking about doing a repackage of Fruit because I had a song called I'm Not Hungry Anymore um, that I really wanted you guys to hear but then I kind of decided against the repackage because I feel like the point in me doing albums is to document a chapter of, of my life at that time and I'm not able to write from that point of view now and so I think Fruit is best left as a 12 track, super concise, um, I suppose, package in itself. Um, so there will be no repackage. However, I'm, I'm undecided about Hungary. Basically, I'm not 100% I'm not happy with it yet. And so... <laughs> I can't give it to you. Um, Sun Model says, do you think this will be your very last tour? If so, what are your plans for the future? No, I don't think it will be my last tour. Um, but I think going forward, I'd like to um, be able to tour in a different way. Because as you know, and as you see, it's a very hard kind of lifestyle for artists um, in in regards to the campaigns, um, you basically, you know, you're home for a certain period of time and then you say, oh, sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. You say goodbye to your friends <laughs> and your family and you go off and you travel all around the world for two years. So that for me is not sustainable anymore. Um, so, I'm gonna try and do things differently after fruit, but for fruit, I want to, you know, work the hardest that I've ever worked, and that I want to tour as much as I possibly can. <coughs> Acid Rain says, "Are you ever going to stop trolling us?" <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Sun Model again says, "Why have you been saying that you don't have plans for another musical project? We're worried." I I don't know about that. I just I guess I'm I've reached a point where because fruit was so satisfying for me and um, I finally felt like I have been understood as as a person and as an artist. There's not that same hunger and ambition. There's a different kind of hunger for other things. So I think music will always be part of my life and songwriting will be as you know as long as I have a working mind because. At the end of the day, the reason I started songwriting was was essentially a, a way to counsel myself and to um, help myself with problems that I had. So 
that will always remain. But um, but I, I think I just want to do other things too. It's like, imagine, I know a lot of you are young, but imagine if you had had one job for 10 years, um, you'd probably want to start to do other things too, uh, or maybe do that thing in a different way. <clears throat> Um, so Kayla Dritzas 7 says, there has been a lot of confusion surrounding the meet and greets. How will this work for the Neon Nature Tour? Okay, so, um, I used to go out after every show, every single night, unless I was ill, and, um, and do as many meet and greets as I possibly could. But I've stopped doing that for two reasons. One, which is, you know, the most honest answer I can give. I, I can't do it anymore. I don't have the energy to be able to perform and do these really long tours and also um, do that as well. And it's really not because I don't want to. Like, my my I, like ideal show scenario would be to come out in the line with you guys and just have a chat. Um, before the show but it's it's not really possible so another reason is safety because I've noticed that um, when I used to come out to meet people you know they might be on the other side of the road they'd be like running across the road or waiting till 2 a.m. in really sketchy areas and I don't want to put anybody in danger just for the sake of, of meeting me or, or like saying hi it's just not worth it so what I've come up with is a free meet and greet system. It's, it's based on potluck online, or at least very random luck. My management um, will pick you on the day and you will come and say hello before the show. <coughs> and, um, and we can have a chat then. Now, I picked 10 pairs for this, so 20 people every night and I know it's a bit frustrating because it kind of axes your um you know your kind of probability of seeing me but that's the only way that I can do it and I've decided I want to be super honest with you so that you know what to expect and on a positive note the the whole reason for performing and why I love it so much is because we get to share one moment which will never happen again and we're all in one room together. So that's our meet, that's our meet and greet. It's like, I can see you and you can see me and we are in the same room because of music and for our love of music. So, <clears throat> uh, the Komakazi says, what have you realized about yourself and or your creative process by writing all the songs for fruit on your own? Um, so, I, have picked this question because I read a, rec um, a book recently called Quiet and it's relevant to this question because it talks about um, introverts and extroverts and we see extroverts commonly in our culture as people who are you know really loud get you know get on very well socially um, and are genuinely seen in a positive light whereas introverts you kind of think of someone who's very inward for me I am definitely um more kind of I suppose I identify much more with introverted characters which means that I like working on my own I like spending a lot of time alone and this um this is definitely relevant to to writing so even though in the future I might co-write with other people I think it's actually uh, for a reason that it's worked really well writing on my own because that's when the best um, ideas usually come out and I've realized that that's fine that's okay it's, it's okay not to you know have to collaborate with 15 people so <clears throat> uh, what's your favorite thing about performing by Lady Gaga with an ex uh, I, for me, it's about the visual thing. So I get to present my vision to you, like my total, total conceived vision for, for example, fruit um, in an hour and a half on stage. 
Um, and this, you know, the second thing that I love as well is that I'm kind of, by being a songwriter and being very public about, about what I do, I'm attracting a fan base which is like-minded, or at least that's how I like to think of things. So hopefully I'm attracting fans who are, you know, I might be friends with in real life usually. Uh, can you describe or show us a picture of the Neon Nature stage? Um, yes, I will. So in the in like the next few weeks, I'm gonna be giving you a few images. Um, also, in the beginning of October, I'm gonna be giving you a lookbook of all of the illustrations made by the designers of my tour outfits, which are amazing. Like they're my dream, dream stage outfits. So I'll be giving you bits and pieces. Vivi de Jackson says, are you happy now? That is a very good question. Um, yeah, I am, but I have a lot on my mind. And um, I also think happiness is very much something that is fleeting. Um, that's why we appreciate it so much when we are genuinely happy and like completely connected and, and present to, to what's going on in our lives. So it'd be a natural to have that that feeling every single day. Um, but yeah, like everybody else, I'm trying every day to, to solve things and, and, you know, sort things out. Um, Cold Like Stone says, do you sometimes feel like being Marina and the Diamonds gets a little too much? Like you need some time off and just be Marina? Not really, because I don't think of myself as Marina and the Diamonds. I think of it as like, my, it's my work. It's like, it's a public representation of my, of who Marina Diamandis is. So yeah, it's, it doesn't feel like there's a huge distinction or I feel like, I'm somebody else on stage and I think social media actually really helps with that because um, you can uh, I suppose portray a much more realistic side of you via Twitter. <laughs> um, Knat96 says do you feel it's easier to make friends within or outside of the industry? That is a very good question. Um, definitely outside of the industry and the main reason is uh, is that artists are usually in exactly the same phase of their life as you are, which is like you don't have a lot of time to get to know people, you're all over the world, you can't commit and stuff like that. So I've usually gravitated towards people outside of the industry, but I do have a few um, people who I'm very fond of in the industry, so that's always nice. Um, that Marina Graham says, how does it feel when a fan starts crying because he or she sees you? Um, it's, it feels very sweet and I understand it because, for example, now you're watching this and if I turned up right next to you in like five minutes, it would feel very surreal because I am an image on your screen. However... <laughs> Um, I'd rather that fans don't, um, and I really hope that they see me as, you know, some kind of friend, even though we haven't met, but that's how I feel about fans, like, when I'm on stage and doing a show, I've said to you before that I feel like I'm always amongst friends, and that's how, you know, I, I approach gigs, it's not like I'm on stage and I have to impress this audience, it's more like all of these people in here are like-minded, and, and, you know, it's a it's a cool thing. So please don't cry, but if you do, I understand. Um, <laughs> Cold Like Stone says, seeing as you and Jack are pretty private, can we expect a selfie anytime soon? Well, you never bloody know. However, usually I don't I haven't done that kind of thing in the past, but um yeah, maybe we can surprise you one day. <clears throat> um, System Error 1996. When is the Clean Bandit collab being released? So, 
I know some of you are getting very, very worked up online about it. Here's the thing, Clean Bandit's album is out next year and they're working very hard right now creating it. Um, and Disconnect was was written about 10 or 11 months ago and we performed it at Coachella because we just wanted to see how it would go down. Um, so it will be out, but it'll probably be the beginning of next year um, and you will get a really um, nice... Um, finished product of it, as opposed to having to listen to the live version over and over again. <laughs> um, okay. What type of merch will you be selling? So, this is going to be revealed at 7.40 on Twitter. I'm, I'm particularly excited about this one because um, I have been very dedicated to making it exactly how I want. There is one hint that I'm gonna give you. There is a scratch and sniff t-shirt with a massive cherry on it, which I'm very fond of. And there are some incredible accessories as well. Um, so you'll see all of that anyway online later. So it'll be on Tumblr and Twitter at 7.40. Sorry, I'm back. I faved some of the tweets um, and I wanted to know which ones they were. So, uh, from Branks NNX, are you excited? <laughs> are you excited to play in the Greek theatre in LA? Yes, hugely. Um, not just because it's called the Greek theatre, but it's an amazing venue and it's set in Griffith Park, which is one of my favourite places. Somewhere supernatural. Um, so I can't wait. <laughs> Um, Keep My Secret says, how do you think you would handle the kind of full-on paparazzi that regular celebs get? Uh, I've had to think about this, and actually, I think I would find it really boring after a while. Um, more boring than annoying. So I am very glad that I don't have that. Um, Haha, ha, I get it now, says, your fandom worships you. Do you ever wish we would just chill the fuck out? <laughs> no, actually, no. I think you're very sweet. And I hope, actually, my biggest hope is, is not that people, you know, carry on worshipping me, but I think... Um, I think of the future when you guys are like 30 or 40 um, and we can still share, you know, shows together. So that's my aim in, in terms of our relationship. Um, Sun Model says, sorry, I'm answering a lot of Sun Model's questions, but she was just bombarding my timeline. How would your life be different if you had succumbed to your label's pressure and become a huge pop star? Um... I think I would be on a bit of a treadmill, to be honest, because a lot of pop stars are, they gain um, a huge amount of success quite quickly and then I find it very hard to start saying no to things. So your life just becomes this complete bubble. So if my life already feels a little bit detached and disconnected for me sometimes, I don't know how I would cope um, as someone who was a huge pop star. Um... Ooh, okay. Oh no, I don't know who this is from. Are there any particular artistic inspirations that you use for Neon Nature Tour? Yes. Um, it was all about fusing nature and technology for me, or kind of our digital world. So I've always been interested in how things are going to progress for us, especially our generation, because we're pretty much the digital generation who's had to adapt or has grown up with the internet. Um, so yeah, it's fusing those two elements together and um, I suppose seeing it through a kind of sci-fi prism, a sci-fi 70s prism. Uh, Marina's Kiwi says, how do you keep yourself occupied when you're traveling for long lengths of time? Any tips? Well, I am a master at this now because I've been doing it for six years and the answer is a Kindle. <laughs> Or any book. I love the School of Life books at the moment. There's so many good ones and they're really really helpful no matter what age you are. Um, 
Yes, what other ones have I been reading? I've been reading a huge amount recently, actually. Um, hello, 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 hello. Um, okay, this is another one of the announcements. Sir Cambient um, said, can you please comment on the Elect Heart Vinyl? This is all I ask. Okay, yes, it is real. And it is coming on. Uh, 30th of October, Family Jewels and Electra Heart are coming out and you can pre-order globally from tomorrow. This is a major feat because it was such a shame that Electra Heart hadn't been produced but now it is and if you're a vinyl junkie you can have all three. Oh, Williams Corin says, is your dad coming over from Greece to watch you perform at the Greek theatre? Um, I'm not sure, he also loves Ireland. Hello Irish fans out there. Um, so I think he might come over for that leg instead, but you never know. Um, and I think that's about it. I think I've gone through all my questions. Yeah, Frappuccino Liam says, can you talk more about the kind of break you want to take after the tour? I don't know. It's really, I'm going through a weird phase at the moment, I have to admit, because feel like um i feel like music and marina and the diamonds has been my goal for uh half my life since i was 15. and and you know in some ways it's not that i've achieved everything it's more that i feel satisfied with it and i'm not like you know it's not like a life or death situation i care you know about other things as well in life now i'm not not so kind of narrow-minded um it's made me think in a much uh broader way which is healthy so i don't know what the future holds but don't worry i'm not going anywhere i'm just kind of dithering at the moment and you know not really sure um i'm not really sure of the future which for some of you out there you might know how that feels it, it feels very strange However, I, I do know that, um, though I can't say the dates next year for Neon Nature, I will be on the road until October. So, yeah, so I guess I'll have a, some kind of break after that and I will let you know when I figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's all the questions. Um, I don't think I have anything else to announce. Um, I've been a little bit all over the place today. But um, I really can't wait. I'm so excited. I just, I've never done a tour like this before, particularly with a stage production. And I can't wait for you to see it. Um, there are gonna be lots of treats on the way. Go check out the Twitter now for the merch reveal. I am modeling it for the first time ever. <laughs> um, and that will be available obviously from the 12th of October on on the show days and then I think when the December run ends it will go online so I'll speak to you soon love you